Next Sunday, 
we will celebrate Epiphany and have our Star Word Sunday. So I encourage all of you to come to church. We will celebrate communion as well next weekend. And you will receive your Star Word, which has become a tradition. If you're not familiar with it, you will find out. If you are not able to come to church in person, but would still like a Star Word, you will be able to get one. So don't worry about that. After service next Sunday, we will need some help putting Christmas away. So if you could hang out for a few minutes after the service, many hands do make light work and we would appreciate the help getting our Christmas decorations put away until next year. On January 13th at seven o'clock, it's a Friday, over in the parish hall, we will be showing the movie Encanto. If you see it advertised as Charmed, that's so that we don't get sued for copyright violation. It's not okay to publicize the title of a movie when you're showing it to a group of people. But I can share it all with you because I'm just talking. So it is the movie Encanto and it will start at seven over in the parish hall. Um, it's free, donations are accepted, but it's free, come, it's fun, um, snacks and popcorn are available, drinks, it should be a good time. I hope that you will join us. On January 21st, we will be having our first meal to go of 2023. That's very strange. Um, it will be chicken pot pie and orders can be placed up until January 18th at noon. You can find the order form on our website or you can also call or email Pammy in the office to place your order. I believe that is all of the announcements for today. So I invite you to settle back into your seats, take a deep breath, and prepare your hearts and minds for worship.
to worship this morning is a call and response, a repeat after me call to worship, if you will. I will say something, you will say it back to me. I have good news. I have good news. Christ is born. Christ is born. Joy is alive. Joy is alive. God is here. Joy is alive. Joy is alive. God is here. God is here. I have good news. I have good news. Christ is born. Christ is born. Joy is alive. Joy is alive. God is here. God is here. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. I invite you now to stand as you are able, in body or in spirit, and join us in our gathering hymn number 87 in the Christian praise hymnal, which is the Red Bound Book.
Let us pray. God of manger straw and swaddle cloth, God of silent nights and joyfully chaotic mornings, we long to know you. The hustle and bustle of this time of year can be more than distracting. So for a moment, as we settle in, we pray, still our busy hearts, quiet our minds, help us to sink deeply into this day. Help us to pause here, to linger here, as we hear your good news spoken over us. God, we long to know you, so speak to us now. With grateful hearts we pray, with grateful hearts we listen. Amen. Contemporary Poetic Edition by Reverend Sarah P. In the beginning was the Word. Way back, a long, long time ago, before the stars, before the day, before the rivers were carved out of clay. In the beginning. Way back in that beginning. Was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He, Jesus, was in the beginning with God. In other words, we cannot say that love was born in a stable that day. For love was born when the horizon was drawn. It was born in the dark, long before dawn. Love was born with the very first seed, and when God breathed life into you and me. Long before magi or shepherds or dreams long before sheep or angels that sing. Love was here, building a way, then and now, and on Christmas Day. For all things came into being through him, and without him, not one thing came into being. And what has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. And so Jesus shines, like a light in the dark or a star in the sky. Jesus walked into this world and opened our eyes, shining a light on social divide and loving the scars we all try to hide. He lit up this world like it's never seen, the light of all people, Emmanuel, King. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. Hatred did not overcome it. Fear did not overcome it. Greed did not overcome it. A light shined in the darkness. Envy did not overcome it. Doubt did not overcome it. Scarcity did not overcome it. A light shined in the darkness. Death did not overcome it. Sickness did not overcome it. Grief did not overcome it. For he was in the beginning with God. Way back, a long, long time ago, before the stars, before the day, before the rivers were carved out of clay. And what had come into being in him was life. So we cannot begin with magi and sheep, for this story begins at the brink. Of creation and life. Of you and me, of beloved and love, of being set free, of being set free. For in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God, and that light shines in the darkness. It always has, and it always will. That is where our story begins, with love for creation from beginning to end. Amen. All right, the microphone is cranky this morning. 
He didn't even shut it off, and it just goes off and makes a horrid noise. Oh, I, yeah, it's on. I just keep shutting off. So now is the fun that we've all been waiting for. Sometimes we don't get to sing all of the Christmas carols that are in our hymnal because, well, you can only have so much singing in a typical worship service. But today we are going to have a Christmas carol hymn sing. I will let you know that all of our choices are going to come from the Christian Praise Hymnal, which is the Red Bounds book. And the Christmas songs begin on or about hymn number 85. So we can do this in a civilized fashion. You can raise your hand and I'll call on you, or you can just shout them out. Leslie. 100. Number 100. And we'll leave it up to Susan. She can tell us if we're going to sing all of the verses or... Maybe we just sing them all. How about, how about you sing just like the first two? The first two of every one. Okay. Fair enough. So the first two verses of hymn 100, Angels We Have Heard on High.
Do you have another thing? Okay. And? 
15. Let's do verses 1 and 2. Unless there are no strong objections, this song will conclude our hymn six. Bundled 
huddled together, much like flowers in a jar. Sometimes those prayers are silent. Sometimes those prayers are written. And sometimes those prayers are spoken out loud. No matter how they come into being, God hears our words and holds them close. Trusting that, let us turn to God in prayer. Today we are going to engage in a creative prayer of the people. Most often, myself or someone else will say a prayer in worship that encompasses prayer requests that we have heard over the week. Today, however, instead of lifting up one voice, we long to lift up every voice. To do that, I invite you to please take out the note card that you received in your bulletin as you entered worship this morning. And if you did not, I will get you one. Take a moment to center yourself in prayer. And when you are ready, write a prayer on your piece of paper. It could be a word, a phrase, a sentence. It could be a prayer of joy, a prayer of gratitude, a prayer of concern. Please refrain from including specific names for the sake of anonymity. After a time of writing our prayers, I'm going to walk around and collect them. At the end of the service, before you leave, you will be invited to pick up one of those cards left by another member of the congregation. You'll be invited to pray that person's prayer throughout the week, knowing and trusting that someone else in this community is also praying for you. Consider it a Christmas gift. Friends, may we draw closer to God. May we offer up our prayers.
holy God of candlelight and open doors, God of tables and seats, God of holly and of ivy, we give you our prayer. Like pennies shaken loose from our pockets, we turn over every corner of our hearts to give you our truth through prayers of gratitude, prayers of fear, prayers of grief. Collect them all and hold us close on this morning. For today, we long to feel you near. With gratitude and joyful hearts, we pray with the words Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. For generations and generations, it has been a Christian tradition to give gifts on Christmas. Children give homemade cards, parents and friends give presents wrapped in brightly colored paper and gold. We do this in remembrance of the Magi who gave gifts when Jesus arrived. But we also do this because when we love one another, it feels good to give. So just as we gave gifts to one another on Christmas morning and in the 12 days that follow, let us also turn that same love towards God. Let us be generous with our time, our talents, and treasures in this new year. Because when we love someone, it feels good to give. If you would like to make a donation and are here in the sanctuary, you may leave it in the basket on the table behind the last pew. If you'd like to make an online donation, you may do so on our website, www.goshenchurch.com. And you can also mail in a donation to PO Box 216. I invite you to remain seated and join me in the singing of our doxology.
strengthening the faint-hearted, supporting the weak, helping the afflicted, honoring all people, loving and serving the Lord, and rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. Beloved ones, know this world as a place blessed by the birth of Christ. In your words and in your work, let the light of forgiveness shine. Give thanks each day and rejoice. Now may the true light shine on you. May the sun brought forth by God be your guide and your strength. May you go in peace and live in hope. Amen. Amen.